This is InfoLife TV Headline News, October 17th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Hezbollah leader Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah said Tuesday night that there was positive progress in negotiations to swap captive IDF reserver Sehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev for Lebanese prisoners in Israel. Nasrallah attempted to downplay the importance of information relayed by his organization to Israel about missing navigator Ron Arad. Prime Minister Olmert warned Tuesday that it would take time until the reservists are returned. German Attorney General Monica Hems rejected a request by Air Force navigator Ron Arad's daughter and brother on Tuesday to reconsider setting free Iranian intelligence official Kazam Darabi. Kenan Yuval Arad asked Hems to make the Iranians release contingent upon Tehran explaining what happened to Arad. A plan to construct a small new bridge to the Mugrabi Gate has been transferred to the Interior Ministry Planning Committee for final approval. The proposal calls for the construction of a 95-meter-long suspended bridge to the gate. And months earlier, controversial plans to build a larger new bridge to the site were nixed. Israeli Minister of Tourism Itzhak Karanovich and Palestinian Minister of Tourism Khalud Davis met recently in Jerusalem to discuss promoting joint tourism projects. The two agreed to reactivate a joint committee that was suspended when Hamas took power. In an effort to combat the increasing road accidents, Transport Minister Shaul Mufaz announced his intention to institute a point system by which drivers will be given a fixed number of points upon receiving their licenses. If a driver loses points, he will be required to retake a written exam and road test. Foreign investment in Israel is expected to reach $9.5 billion, a drop from the record $14.3 billion achieved in 2006. A study in the annual publication of the World Investment Report revealed Tuesday. Elsewhere on InfoLife TV, Israel hopes the swap will lead to the eventual release of all its MIAs. And two Iraqi children suffering from heart disorders are treated in Israel. InfoLife.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLife.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.